Welcome Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I would be grateful if you did now, or any comments or likes. This week sees Jupiter go into a retrograde. This is going to last for four months. Jupiter is all about growth, it's about fortune traditionally in astrology. And since early November last year, it's been in your sector of the home, the family, of your emotional well-being. And it's given you an opportunity to explore these areas in a different, more enlightened and growth oriented way. This retrograde could see you going into a little bit more of an introspective period in that four months. But this week, Jupiter is also clashing with your ruler Mercury, which is in your sector of relating where it is, of course, in uh, detriment. So I do think it's important that when it comes to any conversations that are more to do with the emotional dimension of your situation, to do with the family, that it's important just to kind of stay very grounded and earthy and not get too caught up in any dramas that might show themselves. Now, Venus, in your sector of relating relationships, as it is, also squares up with Jupiter as this week draws to a close. But that could be really quite positive and see you keen to spoil someone close to you as much as you can possibly afford. Perhaps a really thoughtful gesture will go down very well. There is a quarter moon on Friday, however. This just suggests that when it comes to your friendships, that politics might actually leave you a little cold, especially if there's some kind of group dynamic where it's difficult to sort of get people to be upfront and straightforward. That could seem to be a little wearing and exasperating as this week draws to a close. Have you ever had your personal horoscope prepared based on your time, date and place of birth? If not, the information within this will go way beyond your zodiac sign. Based on your character analysis or 12-month personal horoscope forecast, if you choose to have both, I will give you a 30% discount. My forecast uses a modern form of prediction called directions. This is where we advance a natal birth chart forwards one degree for every year of your life and then compare it to your natal birth chart when you were born and also to current transitory planetary activity. A large astrological study found that this was the most accurate form of forecasting. Why not join me beneath this video on the link and check this out for yourself. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.